Hello boys and girls, Ant here, and today I'm playing Streets of Camarocho, which is um, it's about a, it's a Yakuza based Streets of Rage game. Um, yeah, this is like free release today, it's only available until Sunday, at which point um, Golden Axed is going to be available, which is like a, a prototype for a Golden Axe game made by the guys who made Assault Android Cactus like seven years ago, um, which they, yeah, they... You know me, I love Assault Android Cactus, and I had a feeling it was their work, that Golden Axe demo, but it was. I might do a video of that as well. But um, yeah, this is Streets of Camarocha, and before I continue, I mean, I can't really, I don't know if it's spoilers or anything, there's a bonus character in this, and I have unlocked him, and we're going to be playing as the bonus character. Um, but, I mean, it's not like there's a story in this. There's like an intro at the start, which is very Streets of Rage intro, um, and this isn't a massive game or anything. This is literally basically the first stage of Streets of Rage 2 done in like Yakuza style artwork and then it sort of cycles around and gets gradually diff more difficult each time um, and that's basically what we're going to do. I'm just going to mute my phone because I realised I didn't mute it which is obviously that would be a problem if it started going off in the middle of this wouldn't it? Anyway let's get started, control it, next, move on. I've unlocked Ichiban from friggin Yakuza 7, like a dragon. Here's Majima, I played as um, Kiryu quickly. He's fun, he punches stuff, plays like Axel. I don't know what the others play like, but let's find out. I'm assuming Ichiban's turn-based. Oh, music's different. Different music with him here. That's interesting. But yeah, it is literally Streets of Rage 2. Like, completely. Um, and I'm loving it. I had kind of fun. Um, the only thing I noticed is I can't land on my feet. I don't know if that's like... A mistake. I've also spotted like two bugs, but you know, I'm not gonna pick holes in it. This is a free little thing that was chucked out for a laugh, isn't it? For the 60th anniversary of Sega. Back from the days when they used to make, what was it they started off doing? Like pinball machines, wasn't it? And stuff. And probably, I don't know, drugs. I don't know. Um, all these companies have CD beginnings, surely. Nintendo starting off with their Hanafuda cards. There's a guy up there, look at him, he's on. I'm assuming this is like a chiptune version of music from Yakuza 7, which I can't wait to play. I'm going to be all over that. I, I'm all for that weird turn-based combat style they're doing with that. Um, it's kind of funny looking, and I like the look of it. It looks silly. You can make a lobster attack people in Yakuza 7. Um, like I say, this isn't some like, you know, crazy, entirely unique thing. Like, you can't grab the bike and use the bike as a weapon. You can't grab the signs. You know, I like the I do like the little bits of animation they put in the artwork in the scenery though. There's like um, the doors to the convenience stores open when you get near them, which is pretty neat. Nice little touch. But um, I do actually think I'm I'm pretty sure this just literally they have Streets of Rage 2 running underneath this, and I wouldn't be surprised if people rip these sprites and get them to um, get them to work on the Mega Drive. The mods on the Mega Drive store on the was it Steam Mega Drive games thing? Because you can run mods on that, can't you? This guy, his sword, when you grab him, turns into a weapon. <laughs> it turned into a traffic cone with um with Kiryu. I'm guessing it turns into something different with each person, but I don't know if that's intentional or not. It looks like a bug to me. Like you'd think it'd be the sword. Hey, I got an extra life. Just, oh god. This guy with the knife, he he basically cost me like three lives <laughs> just now when I was playing as Kiryu. He's the guy who killed me in the end. I hate the knife guys. Like you you know how to deal with them. You know how to, when to swing the punch and when to hit them, but uh, I was just messing it all up. It is pretty pretty easy this first cycle. But the third cycle you get like more enemies than usual, a bit more health on the bosses. Who oh, I won't spoil. We'll probably just do one cycle, because I have found that if I do longer videos in 4K, um, it's usually not worth it. <laughs> it takes forever to friggin, you know, to compress and all that and go HD on YouTube and yeah. Oh god, I probably should have, probably should have got ready to punch him. Yeah, they all play like Axel. <laughs> What's this, is this special difference? Should we try it? Yeah, it's Axel's other special. Um, when you play as... Actually, hang on. No, it's just that. 
when you play as Kiryu, it's his um, spinning dragon punch thingy. So I wasn't paying attention there, I was just getting my fucking knives. That's one thing I've always hated on a lot of these games. One thing I love on Streets of Rage 4 is that you, you have a button to pick up weapons. Because um, it's always bothered me that you have to avoid knives on the floor. Because if you get stuck over one, you're going to get your ass kicked. Because you're going to keep picking up the knife. And that's not good. But that's that's belt scrolling beat em ups for you, isn't it? We're going to Bacchus. Um, there's another bug here where like characters appear like that ashtray on the desk sometimes appears in front of characters when they're in front of the desk. That's a tiny little bug. But I say it's a free to play thing. And it's just a silly little game, isn't it? It's not intended to be some brand new Yakuza entry. That's out next month. Can't wait to play that. I just I am planning to do a video on Yakuza Zero. Um, a Mellow Gaming recommends. That'll probably be after I get the you know the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers video done. The one of two Mighty Morphin Power Rangers videos I'm working on. Because I'm going to be recording something for Yoppa Ranger later, later. That's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers focused. Uh, a lot of Power Rangers stuff going on with me right now. Maybe maybe next year we'll have a moratorium on Power Rangers and I won't do any Power Rangers stuff on Mellow Gaming for once. It's not likely. I'm going to, aren't I? You know me. I love me Rangers. Me heroes in a half shell. <laughs> <laughs> I sat and watched the Power Rangers movie yesterday. It's a beautiful movie. Perfect film, really. Let's face it. Give me money. Give me some money. Right. Almost to the end of this bar. We're going to have to fight another boss. It's another character from Streets of Rage. Who's this guy? Not Streets of Rage. Yakuza. It's uh, Koji Shindo. It's based on the first Yakuza game, obviously. I need to play through the first Yakuza game. I've got Yakuza Kiwami, and I've only played like six hours of it, which is like scratching the surface in Yakuza terms, isn't it? Like six hours through a game is like, in the Yakuza game is like, oh, you've just done the first chapter. This guy's crazy hair. He's a snappy dresser, this guy, is Ichiban. His name's literally number one. Here we go. Who's our opponent going to be in the alley? Who's that? What's he going to do? Is he going to do the thing? Yeah, look at that. He rips his shirt off. That's what's important. It's Akira Nishikiyama. The villain of the first Yakuza game. Spoilers for Yakuza 0. Because um, he's not a villain in that. It's a prequel though. He becomes a villain in in Yakuza. I like Akira. If you're gonna play Yakuza games, like play the first one or Yakuza Zero first. Doesn't really doesn't matter which one you want, because play first, because whichever one you play is gonna like the other it's gonna affect the other one in a different way. Like your reaction to whichever game you play after will be different. Like if you play Yakuza one and then go to Yakuza Zero, you'll have different feelings about characters. But it all works out in the end. It all makes it more tragic. We're on a second cycle. I guess we're going to keep going. <laughs> I don't want to make this like a 30 minute video. Oh god. Hey, I did that. That's different. It's doing that now. Oh, there you go. I must have been pressing forward when I pressed it before. Okay. I thought I'd tried with the direction without. But it is literally literally Streets of Rage 2, which, I mean, if you're going to copy any Streets of Rage, that's the one, isn't it? I don't know if... I, I was trying to figure out is this running on the Streets of Rage 4 game engine underneath, but it, honestly, it, it feels like Streets of Rage 2. So I'm, I'm pretty convinced they're just running an emulator of Streets of Rage 2 underneath this. Which is fine. It's worth signing up to Sega's 60th anniversary website as well. They're giving away free stuff each week, apparently. Um, they're giving away Knights this week, which I've downloaded and not played yet. Never had that on the Saturn. It's one of those games that I've probably played like once in all my life. Beating up the Chinese Mafia. 
to be fair, they're troublemakers. That is Wang. Look, if there's one thing I am good at, it's beating Wang. And I just beat Wang off. That's a classic dick joke, ladies and gentlemen. Phallic. When I was a kid, my favourite thing was in Tekken having Wang versus King. So the top of the screen would say Wang King. I don't need the knives. It's a nice swear that guy's got. I can't throw the knife. I've been trying. Like the knife should throw when you're far away from the opponent. But nothing. But that's probably just, you know, simple stuff. It's probably not coded with the like most intricacy. They probably churn this out in the you know, a couple of months. Give me some wood. I really can't wait for Yakuza 7 though, that like, it's looking so good. And I've seen the Xbox Series X version can run at like 60 frames per second locked and like that's a, that's good for a Yakuza game, because a lot of those the frame rate tends to dip on those games every now and again. Oh god, is this guy gonna murder me again? Oh. Fucking fuck you, man. With your friggin' knife. Come here, sweater boy. Look at that walk. That's a good walk cycle. <sighs> Swap for a knife. Kind of interesting they're just chucking these games out for a couple of days. Although I've noticed the um the fancy zone thing they did and that armor armor of something they've done, they're still available on Steam right now. Like, I thought they were only gonna be available for two days, so maybe they're gonna keep these up a little longer. Be interesting if they do. Like, especially with this, this is just a fun little like survival game they've chucked out. I, I would honestly, I'd love to play a full game like this. Like a retro style belt scroll and beat him up with Yakuza. That'd be cool. Give it to the guys who do, um, who did um, Streets of Rage 4 and let them do something really nice and flashy. Get up, dude. You want? Yeah, there you go. Health in there. It's good to know. Oh, he's hitting me. That's not nice. I want his stick. Can't have it though. Apparently I'm not not hitting him there. Cheeky bugger. Apparently he was in a tiny little bit of the screen that I couldn't get to. Give me that food. There you go. I'll eat the whole a whole box of meds. Stuff it all in my mouth. <laughs> oh, I think we've stun locked him. Don't I move, mate. Won't be long now. He'll be dead soon. Just waiting for him to get back up and then just stabbing him again. There you go. He's dead. He deserved it. All these guys do. I should have put subplots in this. Might have, like, you're working your way through this and some little girl comes up to you and you need to win a recovery toy on a UFO game. Oh, you slidey bugger. Give me that. Yeah, I just can't get the landing on my feet to work. It is down and jump, isn't it? That's been a while since I've played Street Space 2, but it's down and it's the jump button down to do the landing on your feet thing. I'm sure of it. I mean, I usually remember all that stuff, like, like it's just built into my brain, isn't it? Throw this guy. This guy looks like Tom Arnold. I'm doing terrible. I've almost scored as much as I did last, my last one, though. <laughs> it was a little bit more difficult than it did last time, like it started off a bit with a few more enemies. Maybe that's just me imagining it. Don't hit me. It's not nice. I was in the middle of a fight. Sneaking up behind me and punching me when I'm busy with someone else. 
It's very rude. Oh, once they've put the curry man in here as a bonus unlockable. He's spicy. Yeah. Oh, dead. There's a couple of little effects that are um, nicer than Mega Drive version and stuff. It's not strictly sticking to that Mega Drive look. Like the light here is a proper divid, like lighting effect. It's like a proper transparency rather than the divering that they used on the Mega Drive. It's bothering me that his sword is making the um, health pickup noise. It's not the right noise. You listen out for it. See? When he, br when he brings it up. Alright, Koji. The music's rad on this. I'm liking it. I don't know if this is like a remix of some music that's going to be in Yakuza 7. I say gonna be. Game's already out in Japan, isn't it? We're the ones that are. Is it out in Japan already? I'm sure it is, isn't it? We're the ones that are behind the curve. Right, second cycle. <laughs> Oh god. When can I get one of my assistants to throw a lobster at the bag of enemies? That's what I want to happen. Yeah, definitely got it's definitely got more buddies this time. Whoop. No. Oh god, no. I'm trying to get nearer. Right, now I can deal with him. Yeah. Look, there's little reflections on the ground as well. That's not a thing in the original. In Streets of Rage. It's just nice, it's like a sort of. Hey, I did it, I landed on my feet. It's up and jump. There you go, go on. Should know that. Yeah, it's not like entirely the original Streets of Rage just for skin. They've definitely chucked a couple of little extra graphical features in here, little extra animations and stuff. Doesn't even look like it's the right resolution either, but what do I know? I mean, I'm recording this in 4K, what does it matter? Well, that's two cycles done. <laughs> ah, let's go for a high school. Why not? It's the classic Gates of Camarocho. See what I mean? It's ramped up the difficulty now. There's more, way more enemies here than there was first time round. I'm probably going to get knifed to death like I did last time as well. At least play more Streets of Rage 4. They rebalanced some of it apparently. I've like not played it since then, and they're talking about doing DLC for it, which is pretty cool. I'm hoping they put that um, cop woman in there as a playable character, and Max. They have to do Max as a playable character. He got the shaft. That's so weird that he wasn't playable. Like there was the retro version of him, but not the not the modernised version of him. But he's like he's got a full move move set in the game. Yeah. What do I know? And uh, I think I'm gonna have more time to record some videos soon and. All that sort of stuff. Been made redundant at work, which is great fun. Looking forward to being jobless again. <laughs> For the first time in seven years. But I usually find work pretty quick. If I just, you know, it's going to be tricky in the middle of a pandemic, isn't it? And uh, with Brexit around the corner. Thanks, right wingers. So if one thing wasn't bad enough, we get all of it at once. Didn't need to pick that up, did I? It's pointless. I hope this is all recording, right? <laughs> the little recording symbol's not in the bottom corner of the screen like it normally is. It'd be just like one of these, a game like this, to not record properly, wouldn't it? Take that, Chen. Wang. Oh my god, how many Chens are there? Go. 
Come on. Oh god, more guys. Just want I'm trying to just trying to get to the bar, mate. Jeez. I wanna go do karaoke. I don't think there is a limit to how many times this will cycle over either, because like the top players have got millions of points. Um it's literally only just gone up as well. Like, it must have only just gone up because I I scored like a hundred like whatever I've got, a hundred and some thousand points with Kiryu and I was like 49th on the leaderboard so yeah can't be that many people playing it yet because there's no way I should be at 49 on any game in the leaderboard apart from Super Puzzle Fighter maybe I'm pretty good at Super Puzzle Fighter boink boink How many cycles am I going to make through this? I wasn't only going to do one for the recording, but I guess we're doing more. <laughs> Give me that stick. There we go. No, don't pick it up. No. Oh, God. Knife boy's got me. There you go. Ah. Got further than I did last time. That knife boy messed me up last time. I got to the boss, but he just, like, the knife boy took away, like, three of my lives. <laughs> Which is shameful. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I knew that was coming. It killed me. All the chunky boys are sliding everywhere, aren't they? Oh god! Hit me right in the gut when I was in midair. It's not on. It's on for the uppercut. There's some stuff where sprites aren't lining up quite right. I'm noticing that every now and again. But it's fine. You shouldn't be scrutinising this as much as you'd scrutinise the Streets of Rage proper. This is just fun. actually having Ichiban playing this right now actually fits his character because he is like a retro gaming nerd apparently and that's why the Yakuza 7 has the um oh god no stop picking up knives that's why Yakuza 7 has the uh, turn based combat rather than your regular regular brawling I'm looking forward to trying that combat out it looks fun like you have like business people as your teammates and they'll do stuff like, you know, throw, throw things at the enemies. There's like a um, homeless guy who makes pigeons attack people. So, it's kind of brilliant. Let's get off, get on Xbox or PS4. I've always played them. I'll probably get it on PS4 because I've got all the other games on PS4. Even though I know the Xbox One X version will probably be a little bit nicer. Um. I've got basically the whole Yakuza series on PS4, so it makes sense to get it on that, I guess. Come on. Yeah, stop hitting me. God, he's getting a he's getting a free shot in every time, isn't he? There you go. We've almost made through three cycles. God. You will have some of that. It's the Stamina X bottles that you drink in the Accuser games. The Accuser Zero video I want to do, I'm, I'm sort of like thinking about making it kind of about the series, but concentrating on Yakuza Zero primarily. It won't be like the Disguise video, it won't be like a whole retrospective or anything. But I think I'll go into like where Kiryu's saga goes after the first game, but without spoiling too much. Because I don't want to spoil, don't want to spoil your story-heavy series like Yakuza. Not in a you know stupid internet review video that not many people will watch. <laughs> the Zero is like like my favourite Yakuza game. Um, I really like Six as well. Some people don't like Six as much. I think Six is probably one of the best stories in the whole series. Um, plus it's got that lad from Battle Royale and Death Note in it. Whatever his name is, can't remember his name. 
Oh, God, there's too many of these Yakuza guys. There you go, land on my feet again. See, I'm good at this. Give me that money. Almost that an extra life, I think. I think you get one every 25,000 points. No ladies to fight in this, but I'm pretty sure in the Accuser games it's very rare you fight any women in the Accuser games anyway. This is an actual fit as well. Some people might think this is weird, but the Accuser games are meant to, despite people thinking they're like Shenmue, they're actually a, like they're meant to be modern Streets of Rage style things. It's all about fighting on the streets, crime and all this sort of stuff, dirty seedy things. You know. Even though like, a lot of people always say it's Shenmue, but, you know, Yakuza's. Um, it does have a lot of DNA with Shenmue. But I definitely think the style and the, the tone of it and the feel of the combat is very much more sort of Streets of Rage style. It's all about hard hits and fast combos and using weapons and all this. Whereas Shenmue is a bit more of a sort of Virtua Fighter feel to its combat. Oh, he kicked me in the face. There, I got extra life. That's good. But it's hard to tell because the sound his sword makes is the same as the extra life noise. <laughs> oh my god, when did he start doing jump kicks? He wasn't doing that last time. Let's see if we can make it to Akira. I wasn't going to make this... I wasn't going to... Jesus, what? <laughs> did that just wipe out half my health bar. Or was I already nearly dead? I don't know, I wasn't... I wasn't looking. Go on, you bastard. Bastard. There you go. Made a big nasty noise when he hit me. Good. I like going to the bars in the Yakuza games as well. Usually order my actual favourite whiskey, which is Glenfiddich. That's my, my whiskey of choice. Give me the health. Oh god, no. Oh god, is that me dead? That's me dead. Let's see what I got to on the leaderboards then, shall we? Globally, see what I mean about the top guy? He's got millions. Cheater. Big old cheater. Where's my place? 144. There you go, that's still not right. I should be much lower than that. Um, but we have played Yakuza. The second place name is wrong on both of the leaderboards. Is that like a... Yeah, is that a bug? Something's not right there, is it? Like on both the pages. Can we load up? Doesn't seem to be loading the leaderboard. I've broken it. I've broken the leaderboard. That's what I've done. Let's see, can we load another page? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> it's got some little bugs in it. Whatever, that's fine. Anyway, that's Streets of Camarocho. It's quite fun. Um, yeah, it's free to play. And you've only got two days to download it, allegedly. Like I said, the other games are still up. I've got a feeling they're going to let them stay up for a bit. Um, but yeah, you can't go wrong with that. I'm sure your PC will run it if you've got a really low spec PC. Even I think they should. I think they should do a proper game like this. Like maybe not this exact style. Like let it stand out a bit more and be a street uh, yakuza thing. But yeah, I think that'd be neat. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. YouTube doesn't like it if I don't mention that apparently. And uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.